so today I'm going to show you how you can make your own salt crystals. For this you will need Epsom salt, also known as magnesium sulfate, hot water, a container, and food coloring. First, into a jar of hot water, slowly add your salt and stir. Keep adding until no more salt will dissolve, forming a saturated solution. When this happens, you will see some undissolved salt at the bottom of your glass. In order for crystals to form, your solution must be saturated. Now once your solution is saturated like it is here, you will want to stick it into the fridge to cool. If you want your crystals to be colored, add food coloring at this point. In this clip you see that I placed a string into my solution because I wanted the crystals to form on the string. However, I didn't place the string low enough into the solution so you'll see that not many crystals formed on the string. Now the question is, why do crystals actually form? Let me explain. First, we dissolve the salt in hot water. The temperature of the water is important because the hot water has increased molecular motion, which causes more collisions between the mo water molecules and the salt. More collisions means the forces holding the salt together are disrupted quicker. This allows for more salt to be dissolved in the hot water and at a faster rate than cold water. When the solution is put into the fridge and the temperature decreases, there is more salt than the cold solution can actually contain. This results in the salt falling out of the mixture and forming crystals. After a day in the fridge, you can see that very few crystals formed on the string. However, when the remaining solution is poured out, You can see that at the bottom of the jar, a lot of sharp, thin crystals have formed. As you can see here, Epsom salt forms crystals that are small and needle-like. If you use other salts to do this experiment, such as table salt or sea salt, you will find that they have different crystalline structures and will form at different rates. I hope you have fun growing your own crystals. Thanks for watching!